And so the water leaves the tub right here and it comes down through this, a trap. Now this is a water seal to keep sewer gas from coming up inside the tub. And if we didn't have this water seal, this trap, that sewer gas would fill the building, so it's very important. We're going to replace it. We're going to pull it out and we're going to put in a more modern style P trap. Named so because it resembles the letter P. It still has our water seal. It sits right here. But what's great about this is it's self-scouring. As water leaves the tub, it'll clean out that trap so no sediment stays there. And it's very easy to clear with a wire. So here we go. Careful. Once you dump that out, I'll take the saw back. Just dump that out. All right. With that trap removed that was right here, we're now going to replace it with PVC. That means we're going to attempt to remove this threaded adapter from this fitting. All right. Okay. So one wrench to hold back, like so. This comes. Oh, yes! Oh. All right, big pair of pliers for the last of it. Now, to tie into the old work, I'm going to use this, a threaded adapter called a male adapter. To make a watertight seal, I often will use Teflon tape to put onto the threads. But whenever I'm going into old work, like that fitting up there, I much prefer pipe dope with a little bit of wicking. Let me just show you. This single strand wicking will actually expand when moisture hits it and it'll pick up any imperfections in the old threads. Okay. Okay, on the other side, the existing fitting is actually an inch and a half male thread. So for that, we need a female adapter where the threads are on the inside. We want to repeat the procedure with pipe dope and wicking. All right, I want to dry fit all this, and then I'm going to give you one measurement to cut, Cliff. Okay, so that goes there, and that's there. And one measurement. Looks like a three inch, Cliff. All right, good. Now, before I install this, I want to deburr it, get rid of all those cuttings that are inside there, just so it doesn't catch any hair. Okay. Now it's time to clean it and glue it. All right, Cliff, here's your fittings that are already glued. And now I'm going to dry fit it one more time before we glue it to be sure the angles are correct. Now there's a 90 degree elbow. And be sure it fits our trap. Okay. Now to help us glue it at the right angle, we can make a couple of marks, witness marks. One on the fitting, one on the pipe. Again over here. And then when we glue them up, we make sure the lines line up. There's one. Just hold it for a second. Good. Over this. One, two. And on this last connection, I have to glue both of these at the same time. Here we go. I hope my hands don't get glued to this cliff. At least I'll know where to find a good plumber. Yeah, hanging in the dining room. Mm -hmm. <laughs>